Hey guys, we're going to talk about how to write the equation of a circle in general form or standard form. So we've talked about it in graphing form. We did that in the last video series. So now this one we're going to talk about it, putting the equation of a circle in general form or also sometimes called the standard form. So let's get to it. All right, so the equation of the circle in graphing form, we're just going to kind of review this because this is what we've talked about before. But you have the quantity of x minus h squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared equals r squared, where the center of the circle is given by the point h, k, coming from these two values, and then the radius is r, the square root of that number. All right, so now we're looking at the equation of the circle in standard form or in general form, where we have ax squared plus ay squared plus bx plus cy plus d equals zero. Okay, now this is a lot longer, but it's the same thing, just written in a different form. All right, so we're going to start by talking about going from graphing form to the general form or standard form. So we've already talked about what the graphing form looks like and what the general form looks like. But to go from graphing form to general form, the only thing that we need to really do is to multiply everything out. And I think that's best done by showing an example. All right, so we're going to go through this example of x plus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals 16. Now when something is squared, that just means that we have two of the same um, binomial multiplied. All right, so we can, instead of writing x plus 2 squared, we can just say x plus 2 times x plus 2, and we can say y minus 1 times y minus 1. All right, so now we can use an area model or the distributive property twice to multiply these out. I'm going to use both methods so that you can see each one. All right, so let's start with the first one. I'm going to use the distributive property, so x times x is x squared. x times 2 is 2x, and then we have 2 times x, which is also 2x, and 2 times 2, which is 4. Okay, so that's using the distributive property twice. All right, so now on this next part, I'm going to use an area model to multiply this out, so you can see this method as well. So when we have y times y, that's y squared, and then y times negative 1 is negative y, y times negative 1 is negative y, and negative 1 times negative 1 is a positive 1. All right, so now we're going to combine our like terms. So I've got 2x and the 2x, and I've got the negative y and the negative y to combine. All right, so now that we take the, a look at this, we've combined our like terms. So now we're going to rearrange them and move this 16 over to the other side so that it's equal to 0. All right, so now we've just rearranged the order. So I've got my x squared plus my y squared plus 4x minus the 2y, and I put the 4 and the 1 together to get 5 equals 16. Then I move the 16 by subtraction over to the other side, and now we have this in general form or standard form with our highest exponents first, so x squared and the y squared working all the way down to our constants and then equaling 0.